Hi Virgo, welcome to Told Does Love Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Virgo in your chart, it may resonate. Happy Mercury retrograde, end of August 2023. Mercury is one of Virgo's ruling, ruling planets. So Virgo and Gemini are technically supposed to be the signs that are or are the signs that are most affected by Mercury retrograde. So keep it in mind. I think it goes to September 14th. I don't wanna open up the can of worms of what that means, but if you're watching this, maybe you need to go Google research Mercury retrograde and let me know how it resonates. I, for instance, am a Gemini sun and as I was just saying, it's the ruling planet for Gemini and Virgo. And it just dawned on me yesterday, too, that I have had um, my aunt and uncle. I saw them Sunday the 20th, the 21st. I saw them again yesterday, the 23rd. And now they're heading out. And the 23rd is the marker for the beginning of Mercury retrograde. And I haven't seen them... I was actually talking to my aunt about it like when was the last time I saw them and they've been staying with my parents and it dawned on me yesterday like this is an example of per people from my past coming back um, to my present during a retrograde so Virgo I encourage you to go down that rabbit hole on your own um, told us love is a hustle for me so your likes your comments um, checking out the other signs in your chart all those things help my channel grow so I can get to the next what I like to call level of YouTube Virgo where I can be doing more through the videos through the recordings and with viewers <clears throat> in the meantime my cash app and Venmo are in the description box and gifts, donations, and support is greatly appreciated and goes such a long way. I'm so thankful, Virgo. Um, if this doesn't resonate, that's all right. That's why you want to check out the other signs in your chart. I haven't done a reading in a few days and I feel like my juice, my like spidey senses are all juiced up. Um, my pre-message for you, Bur Virgo, started with, um, I, the phrase looping back or going back. This could be to a place, this could be to a job, a career, could be to a person, like you've reconnected with someone, this could have been going on for the summer or maybe just really, really recently. Actually, no, it's, I feel like this is relating to this Mercury retrograde because the looping back reminded me of the retrograde. <clears throat> An older communication or idea that's coming back up again. Um, I also got literally like the actual movement or driving. Maybe you're going around, walking around, doing a loop, saying I'm gonna loop back um, I got that this could be someone feeling this way about you Virgo or maybe this is you but I had this feeling of there's an individual who is stuck on someone something could be an idea could be a, a verdict just came to my head or like the decision something stuck on someone or something from the past and needing to be reminded of the present because the past is his hindering the present happiness and memories so um this is like fear of failure because you failed before in a major way or had a loss in some major way and you are so scared of it happening again that you're losing precious moments in the present with the present 
because you are stuck worrying or are still thinking about that. There's someone here, I'm hearing the word mindful, like someone needs to practice being mindful, like maybe read about these things, look into these things, um, how to keep yourself in the present, essentially. Um, I feel like alcohol consumption may affect this person looping back or going back to something. Um, Virgo, let me know if it resonates. I hope you are happy, healthy, and well. Um, don't forget those comments, the likes. They go such a long way. I have been having an active summer, so I haven't posted as much as I did last summer. Actually, I'm reminded of this time last year. I was already decorated for like Halloween. Checking out the other signs in your chart. Um, could also provide more insight, more messages, even uh, more detailed, it may seem, message than this one, Virgo. I got the phrase um, in the pre-message too, like that someone saying that's your problem or it's having um, maybe just thinking about it, that's your problem. This was gonna stop in my hand, so we're gonna stop here. And more often than not, when nothing comes out of the deck yet, it's because I haven't finished what I was meant to say and then something comes out. So I'm gonna take this as confirmation. Someone is having a boundary or you've been having a boundary with someone and it's um, it's like a that's your problem. Maybe someone is trying to loop back to something or go back to an old idea, an old argument, an old um, conversation, like just old memories and having to have a boundary with this person or they're having to have it with you because it's like it's a your problem type thing. I, that doesn't resonate for me, but it was really strongly popping in my head. So please let me know how it resonates. All right, Virgo. Actually, I want to write this down. 740. <clears throat> Giving back. Put it forward. Clear your energy and space. So already I feel like this is something about someone is be doing more, could be volunteer work or just um, this just became such a big message. It's like someone thinking about what they're putting out into the world. It's kind of like someone thinking about their energetic carbon footprint. Maybe it even is your carbon footprint. You're focused on like to lessen the trail of whatever behind you. This is so bizarre. This is definitely gonna speak for a single Virgo, but it's like your carbon footprint of broken hearts. People that you've dated and broke their heart, like you're trying to slow that down because you've, maybe this isn't even dating. Maybe this is like friends or people or something like, Someone is trying to <clears throat> like do good now, be mindful of their energy and the space because they are very aware of their like actions and what they've done in the past. Wow, he, she doesn't feel the same as you do. 
name begins with J, B, K, S, or A. I love your energy. Wow, right next to clear your space and energy. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The bottom of the deck is, who exactly is the toxic one here? And then earth sign could be you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I want to go on a date with you, communication breakdown. Um, <clears throat> all right. I get something of like someone being spiritual and, um, Either they, it may actually be lighting candles or sage or incense with mindfulness, uh, setting intentions and in prayer, but it's to clear the energy and space. I get a connection that um, if not cared for, it could turn like unhealthy and hostile. Someone doesn't want that. It's like working with someone and like on like being, oh, this guy sounds so weird. It's like working with someone on how to be like good people together. Someone wants to clear the air, clear the space. Maybe this is what looping back to. I wanna clear the energy, clear the air with you. I love your energy. Um, he, she doesn't feel the same because they feel the other person has like hostilities towards them. That's what this means, yes. Either you thought someone had like issues with you or there had been an issue and it's like um, someone's giving to the connect reconnection, the connection, someone's giving back equally. It's, there's something here about waving a, um, like a white flag between two people. Um, thinking someone hated you or like you had beef with someone and then you realize like, nope, there's actually no issues here or if there, there was issues, um, they don't exist anymore. So here I am, the one who's been fixated on this worried about what's gonna happen when in all actuality, like they've cleared the air, they don't feel, if they hated my guts before, they don't feel that way now. This person has cleared their energy and space. This is, um, they're in a good, better energy. This could be you, Virgo. Name begins with J, B, K, S, or A. Let me know how it resonates. All right, we're starting this at 14.30, we'll say. I just saw the page of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, five of pentacles reversed. Yeah, reconnection. Clearing the air after an ending, after hurting someone's feelings. And I don't want to say kicking someone out, but like there was a fight, there was text, there was an argument. 
and it was like somebody is out you're no longer part of this the emperor could have kicked someone out aries energy followed by the sun and those are both fire signs what's this at the bottom full reverse wow leo energy aries energy so I just got someone questioning their spiritual beliefs, feeling like they've been kicked out by their, like their um, brethren is coming to my head right now. Um, I'm hearing losing my religion by REM in my head right now. Like someone like feeling like, um, they were so dedicated to some place or, or belief system and they were ultimately like kicked out by it. Um, it was like used against them maybe. Um, I get this feeling of someone wanting to start something, um, Queen of Swords. Ace of Wands, a Five of Wands, wow. So, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but I'm getting that there was an argument, some sort of ending. Um, I'm, I'm heavy on there was like, maybe not necessarily nasty words face to face, but I'm getting heavy like text messages or like, could be emails if it was work related, but um someone like was on the out something ended they i'm i'm also getting someone who like said something or did something and it was like they realized that they are the cause of this like they realized that what they did and like they're sad about it or like they wish they hadn't done it and I get with this emperor and the sun here and the fool reversed, I get someone, um, if this was an ending, like a split or a breakup or end of a friendship or something, it's like someone has moved on to greener pastures, someone is, has done better or is doing better, is happier. I also get the feeling of something about recon reconciling, wanting to reconcile um, someone who may have like ended the friendship connection, whatever it is, and now they want to like make amends and have a, a go a go again, a fresh start. This is going with this clear your energy, your um, space. He, she doesn't feel the same. They want to clear the air. They are not here to like. Um, Page of Pentacles. This is an offer. The world reversed. Queen of Wands. That's a fire sign. Ten of Pentacles reversed. I get the feeling of wanting to like reconcile and give something a dip, another another go again. Put it forward like give four pentacles. Let's go back to the way it was before shit went sour and things went wrong cuz that's the 5 of pentacles. They want to reverse it. They want it to um with the fool here reverse they want the new beginning. They want uh, reconciliation. And what do they want to do? They want to go back to when things were good before the Five of Pentacles. This is an this is someone who's thinking about it. Like they've held on to this connection. This um, they've loved your energy, or you've loved their energy. They've they've held on to it. Seven of Swords reverse. Even when things went sour and it was something happened. Ten of Cups, death. Six of Wands. I get the feeling of like 
being happy to hear from someone or it's like I think someone may have held back the high priestess Pisces energy held back communication or they hold back like um They hold back that they didn't want this to end, that they've always felt that this was not over. They felt that <laughs> there would be a looping back, a going back. This is giving me like, I, I always knew this wasn't the end or I always knew I'd hear from you again and there's the communication. <clears throat> Something definitely negatively like happened between you two these two people or whomever this is i get you guys like really were connected at one time or another and someone is on the defense now when this offer comes along because see girl with long hair black hair girl with long black hair this is the person who was hurt this is the person who got hurt by it could be in aries or um could be um like a boss like someone's like if it's work related it's like um getting a terrible review from someone and now you have to work with this person and act like you hadn't just been holding back on all that shit um and now there's this feeling of defense be from one person to another but it's someone's been holding on to this Holding, holding on to something. Holding back. This could be they've been holding on and holding back on reaching out. I get like, um, again, like some sort of argument issues between two people. And it, um... It was like hurtful to both people. The chariot reversed. Cancer energy. Queen of swords reversed. Three of wands reversed. The magician reversed. The emperor is now upright. Well, he has been upright. Okay, I just got the feeling of like someone realizing that like, um, It's like, um, I'm hearing like realizing something isn't going to go forward or realizing something's not going to, um, happen. This could be feeling like you know that um there's something someone isn't telling you um i get now like page of wands reversed I'm getting maybe that there's like someone who may have wanted a connection to go forward to 
um, go to the next level. The Emperor, again, I've seen him three times here in three different decks. Um, but someone is keeping it at like a, a friend or basic level. Um, I'm getting like there's someone who is like... I don't want to say controlling the situation, but they are the one who um, is controlling the level at which someone is at, either at, at work or within their life. Page of Pentacles. And if I had oh, opened it, if I had flipped it that way, it would have been upside down. I think this is something about someone who's looking for more of an offer. The sun reversed now. Page of Pentacles, the Fool, the Magician, Strength. Three. All right. There's someone here who wanted to, wanted to keep a connection at a certain, uh, who wanted to see their position at work elevate, or they wanted to see this person who they were seeing to, for this to go to like the next level, maybe it was a situationship, a friends with benefits, and they were looking for this to be more equal. Um, he or she did not feel the same. They wanted to keep it at, you are at that level at this job and you don't elevate. And it may have possibly been something you intuitively knew or Maybe they're, they're figuring that you aren't going to stay. You're going to end up leaving because um, there's no room for growth here, Virgo. But um, if it's like a relationship, I get the feeling of like a, a friends with benefits, a like casual type thing that someone was looking for more from. Like they were looking for a relationship. They were looking for um, something like, are we together, committed, whatever, the beginning of the next part of this. And I feel like it was communicated that this is what they were looking for and someone did not want it to get to that next level. Now, if it's friendship, it could be like, if it's a reconnection, it's like you don't want to go back to being as close as you guys were. You wanna keep it more at like acquaintances, but um, obviously this person means something to you if you've reconnected. I'm heavily just getting there is a dominant kind of Aries energy or um, boss figure that is the one who is like in control of whether or not this goes to the next level or goes forward. And I think there are two people here who don't, who are looking for different things. Um, someone who's trying to keep this as and only want it as friends with benefits, base level, page, energy. They do not want to give that Ace of Pentacles. They are holding on. Um, and I think someone intuitively knows this. I feel like this um, is not a conversation that's actually been said out loud, but I just get the feeling like someone has intuitively known that this is as far as they were going to go or this wasn't going to go forward at all. And you're both looking for different things. I don't mind the background traffic. What are you gonna do? Um, I almost feel like if this is it, Virgo. There's definitely this either strong masculine energy or it's an Aries that is like keeping things at where it is. Virgo, let me know how it resonates. Don't forget to check out the other signs in your chart and I will catch you on the flip.